Hello everyone, welcome to Khatri 3D. In this video, I am going to be showing you how I polypainted this character entirely in ZBrush. How do I approach the polypaint and what makes it easier for me to understand colors in painting. And it will help you a lot also. So how I approach polypaint is from painting the darkest colors first, then slowly paint bright colors on them. Special thanks to Aaron Blaze and Marco Bucci, I have learned a great deal about how to approach the painting the easiest way and I will be applying these methods in ZBrush. Now to begin with what I will do is first switch to skin shade 4 because this is the best uh, material I polypaint and texture on in ZBrush and uh, now what I meant from going darkest color to brightest color is that this is my render okay and uh, what I do with all the models I paint darkest color first in this example if I am going to polypaint the skin I will fill the color with the darkest color first then I will slowly paint brighter colors on top of them and this is the trick i apply to both skin and clothes and or any other mo model either it is in zbrush or substance painter so let's begin uh, by filling up the primary color so i will fill up this model with primary colors and i will choose the darkest colors i will use the z color picker add-on and it is a very useful for picking up colors outside of zbrush ui and uh, you can assess it by going to z plugin and z colors okay i have made a shortcut here click on z colors and just click and drag of the just pick any color which indicates the darkest okay and click set color and uh, select i am going to be selecting the head and will click fill object you can assess this fill object on this color menu by clicking it here okay i have made a shortcut here and uh, for the eyes i will just paint it with not the pure white but uh, i think the eyes were like the grayish bluish gray tone okay and i will just fill it let me see i am on the eyes okay i'll fill the object for the hairs i will switch the hairs I will go and look for the darkest color okay this is my render you can find any reference of your models just pick not the brightest for but just the darkest colors okay and set colors and uh, click fill object for the vacuum pan I will choose the gray color and set color and fill it and uh, for the eyebrows i will just switch to for the eyebrows and uh, the eyelashes i will just go and switch to black and fill it them for the eyebrows i will also fill it with the black okay now for the earrings i can choose the gold color or just i will just choose the color from here and i will set the color I will fill it now for the t-shirt I will do just the same pick brighter colors and click set colors and uh, I will fill it it for the skin I will choose the same color as her and fill object for the skin and uh, for the button I can just do the same process here click set color and uh, I will fill it okay for the shirt I didn't fill it I will choose it again any dark color and uh, I will just fill it and for the color again the same process darkest color set colors and fill it now for the center chest piece i will just darkest color fill it for the gloves and arm band pick up the color I will fill it for the armband I will choose the same 
now then now then it's time to paint and uh, i will be choosing some brighter colors for the skin and uh, just slightly poly paint it set the colors press and select paint brush or you could just switch to standard or any brush and switch to rgb mode most people do is uh, use standard brush but i use paint brush you can access it by clicking b and p on your keyboard to access it okay now i will fill it i don't use symmetry while painting it okay because it brings the a uh, uh, natural way and uh, i will just paint it i will switch to the head and just paint it the brightest color okay i will choose the nose color and paint the nose i will switch to some lower resolution and paint the nose we could always come and what i how i poly paint is i just fill it with the colors and if i want to remove it i just choose another color and paint on top of it okay uh, this worked for me for the uh, ears i will fill it with the same color and for the lips what i did was i if i press shift f i have made a poly group for the lip because it makes it easier for me to paint and i will use it i will pick the lips colors isolate by using the mask i will pick the lips colors isolate by mask and uh, uh, only the lips are selected because i have polygrouped it and i will just click here fill object and uh, i will fill it the lips with the, this color now as you seen the lips have been been completely filled so i will paint it on top of it where i could see the lips are ending it is all trial and error once you have painted a lot it will be easier for you to approach i will choose some more brighter colors make sure the paint is selected and just gently um the saturation is not good now i'm not taking the saturation let's see there this is more like it let's paint it the forehead okay just paint the forehead and uh, for the eyes okay here you can see there are colors on the eyes and i have it filled it i will just go ahead and fill these eye areas I will switch on the symmetry this time because as you can see slowly by slowly i am filling it it now as you can see these are the whiter parts because the lights are following and uh, what i want to do is i want to paint chin and neck slightly wider i could experiment with here is uh, i can just gently 
pour some white on the forehead and uh, just gently okay just gently just gently to indicate she has a fair reflection now i will paint the eyes okay now for the eyes uh, eyes opens the window to the soul and uh, without painting the eyes i sometimes get lost whether my reference i am liking it or not and as soon as i feel these those eyes you will see how quickly it gets better now for the eyes i will fill it with the black color first the iris and then i will manually paint the pupils i will pick the color using the z color and uh, set the color i will turn add some blackness to it okay and uh, we will select the eyes and uh, these are the polygroups i have isolated the uh, iris and i will just fill it with this color now to paint the pupils and the iris itself i use manual paint brush and uh, you can assess it by clicking b then press p and you will see this paint brush what it does is uh, it is basically a standard brush but uh, it disable the z add and turn on the rgb itself you can do it on the standard brush but uh, there is another brush specific for the paint now i will choose the slightly more brighter color this time and uh, just gently press x for the symmetry and just gently i will paint it okay just gently you don't have to be like that just like that i will make the borders a little bit thin and uh, now now for the peoples i will switch to this uh, dark color again and uh, uh, slightly gently try to make pupils and uh, maybe it's all right maybe it's not i will try it again this time i will make the pupils slightly this looks cool now i will switch to more brighter color and uh, paint the surroundings from darker to brighter as i said and uh, i will turn on the increase the saturation a little bit more and just like that add a whiteness to it just like that and uh, i will choose the darkest brown on the upper iris and feel this with this because there are shadows on the eyes the upper part of the eyes i am pressing shift and uh, more black color hint so these are our eyes and uh, i think the here the border is quite thick and in our reference it's quite thin so we will just thin the border manually paint it okay no issue you can always go back 
and don't be afraid to change your designs don't get attached to your design you have to be comfortable with changing it okay because if you get attached to it it is very hard to add changes on it and during the professional work it is said that uh, company sometimes there are a lot of revisions okay there are lot of revisions and you have to be brave enough to accept those now i am thinking of a more white with the blackish tone on it and just i will do this okay now now for the eyes let's see for the eyes it has more whiteness around it and this side of the more blackish this is our eyes now i will go switch to another other sub tools and uh, just fill the remaining parts with brighter colors set the color fill the object always use references no matter where you are how good you are i will isolate this two buttons and uh, fill it with the pen now all it remains that i would have to add brighter colors on every sub tool one by one so i will begin with this neck cloth and uh, i will choose the brighter color and just paint over it now it is much very easier to paint the varieties now okay because we have all the uh dark colors on our sub tool first now it is just a matter of time to fill them and you will see how quickly it starts to look beautiful because i know the trick what every artist uses it not every but a good artist is like aaron blaze uses it this technique for the neck i will just choose the darkest color here and uh, just a little bit white here just a little just a gentle touch of white and i will do it here okay uh on the body too just a little bit white and uh, the hand also not the hand i will just change it later i will fill it with the reds hand also just a little bit to hint that it is a now i feel like i have to add more bright colors onto it okay just faintly fill the da fill the bright okay don't worry about the crevices it will be filled with ambient occlusion okay we could always go manually paint them and i will choose the more dark color on the back side of the i will isolate it by clicking the solo and just paint it okay now i think i would have to switch to more darkest and just paint it
this looks good this looks absolutely good I will switch to more white just paint uh, slightly on top of it on just top of it for the suit I will choose the bright color sometime I pick color sometime I manually set them now this is our old orange and this is our orange right now it is more brighter and I will just the paint brush is selected and uh, I will start to just paint it okay as you can see now it's it is look it is looking more universal this time after painting the black you are in so much control that you could easily go on and understand the colors change them at your will if need be this is what i like best about poly painting or any other texturing software i like to paint them with the darkest first then the brightest on top of it okay now here i will go for a more uh, high saturated dark this time and uh, just paint it with the i think i would have to add black to just shadow okay just the shadow i think crazy i'm not going to paint on the back side of the model because i have i will render it on the front side okay i always save your time okay for the lips choose brighter color choose the face and just paint it on top of it okay just of it i think this is quite less saturated i will choose the color and just slightly just slightly okay for the nose as well i will hit paint it with the bright i keep saying bright 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 it is the requirement this is the nose which is quite i think just the hint nothing else just like that i will choose more darker fill the nostrils with the black now for the eyes i will fill it with the toy plastic material i will switch to the toy plastic and uh, turn off rgb and only material and fill it with the material now it will fill only the material not the rgb itself and if i go back to skin shade 4 you could see that the our eye has this toy shade uh, toy material added now it's all about manually painting it the brighter colors on the ears itself forgot to turn off the RGB just fill it with the black for the heads I think I would have to add more bright colors onto it
now this is our dark color and uh, see the magic i'll fill it with the bright color see that it starts to look more versatile and more universal after painting the bright colors on top of the dark as i said always in get in control always get in control after that you could always choose it you are not restricted to use only bright colors after dark i always go to more darkest ones and fill the edges with the more dark colors okay there is nothing there is no again rule or something that once you use the darkest color first you will not use the dark again okay i always switch to dark mode I just feel like adding darkest first give it more control you are not restricted to use only bright colors after that this is what I want to explain it to you and uh, for the eyes I think for the eyes I think this is uh, quite let's see let's paint it okay now this looks more better compared to our yellowish tone okay and uh, now then uh, it's only a matter of time that i will fill this with the more brighter colors and uh, i don't want this video to be super long i don't want this video to be super long now uh, this is it this is my overall workflow of painting the every character in zbrush okay first fill it with the darkest colors then slowly fill it with the bright ones on top of that this is why this is how you will be in control during poly painting and this feature or this uh, method of mine uh, you won't be as confused much during poly painting or choose the colors always use reference okay uh, don't be shy enough to not use the reference using the reference is a good thing using the reference is a good thing okay now and uh, i think i will call it a day and i can easily call this finished i would have to just tweak a little bit more off screen i will do it because this video has already gotten very very uh, long very very gotten long and uh, i would have to just add bright colors on top of it then dark colors then dark color the point of this video was to teach you how i poly paint this character and this is it and uh, me poly painting this character and uh, as i always have said in this video uh, use references all the time study the colors and if you apply my method going from dark to more brighter you will be in more control according to me just try it experiment with your uh, other sculpts with your sculpt one two three or uh, how many you want to uh, do experiment it with and uh, i can guarantee you you will be you will get improved a lot in the poly painting process it's all about understanding the workflow if you uh, get the graphs of the workflow you will easily be easily be able to do it more fast uh, like i am but uh, at first you have to just concentrate on it learn from it and uh, i forgot to add the earring colors of the earrings i will just quickly select yellow and uh, fill it 
and I will later fill it with the darkest yellow and the, the brightest yellow okay now uh, I hope you like my video I hope you understood what I was trying to say and uh, I have given you the live demonstration and uh, if you like my video please subscribe and share with the other people who want to paint it like an artist okay and uh, be tuned I will be coming again with more videos like this in futures uh, take cares and see you in the next video goodbye